Hey, it's Ashley and Katie at Createful Art. We are going to show you how to create a whimsical mermaid today. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to be using this lesson plan that you can find at createfulart.com. It will walk you through step by step this lesson, all the information you need to know to have the most success with this lesson. Step one is set up. First, you're going to need watercolor paper, some watercolor pencils, micron artist pens, a ruler, cup of water, and paper towels. There are three rules to follow. The first rule is when you are using your paper towel and some water to wipe away any lines you don't want, you need to not press hard and scrub in the area. Rule number two, do not press the pencil hard on your paper. Rule number three, let your paper dry before you draw over it with the new line that you want. You can take breaks in between the steps all you want and push pause to slow down the lesson. Step number two, draw the face structure. Use a flesh colored pencil. Start by drawing an oval in the middle of your page. So I'm going to tilt my oval to the right here to give it more interest. Divide the oval into quarters. Make sure you slant your lines just like you slanted your oval. Next, draw the eye line guide and the dots. This is the upper eyelid line guide. This is going to be the inner eye point guides. Notice how it's equally distance from this line. This is the outer eye point guides. Again, equal from the sides and this line. This is the middle of the eye guidelines and up here. And then I can decide where I want my pupil to be and that will be where my mermaid is going to look. So if I want it to be up like this and her looking over this direction, I will draw my points the same distance in the same direction from those lines. Now I can draw the outer shape of the eye. Next I draw the eye shape. So there is an eyelid that comes up and I can make it come in like that or down like this. And eyebrows. Notice how they start just above this line right here. And there's many different shapes of eyebrows. This is the shape I want to give my eyebrows. They're about the same shape on both sides. Now I'm going to draw the inner eye, which is a circle. Now I'm going to draw the pupil, which is another circle inside of that circle. And then another circle inside of this circle is the reflection on the eye, which will end up just being white in the end. Then I'm going to kind of give myself um, some idea of eyelashes, which are curved lines that move away from the eye and to the side of the face on both sides. So curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. And then some curve lines down here. Now we draw the nose. We need a nose guide. So from this line to this line, we're going to divide it in half again. Okay, this nose shape is an L shape and where the light is bouncing off the nose, I don't want the L shape. I want it to be in the shadow area. So this is going to be the side of the shadow area and I'm going to start about right here and I'm going to make a backwards L that meets right here and then curves. Then I draw the nostrils which are kind of like a W shape that meet in the middle here and come around. All these shapes and all of these lines are in the lesson plan that you can get. So be sure to head over to Create Full Art 
www.thelessonsofmouth.com and get your lesson plan to help you through this. Now you draw the mouth. You need another mouth guide, which is a line half, halfway in between this line and your chin line. Now we're going to draw the lip cleft. So that's a lip cleft. It's just a line. That's easy. Right below the nose. Okay, and then your lips are going to start right below that. And you're going to make this U shape right here. And there's all different kinds of lips. So this one's going to be pointy lips like mine. <laughs> and an M shape. draw the middle line. So now I want to shape the face. So I'm going to start at the top of her top of the oval and I want to give her a heart shaped face and so for a heart shape I'm going to just kind of go in like that and go around and I want to give her a good distance right here from her outside of her eye to the side of her face. I want it to be so close. I'm going to give her some cheekbones. You guys don't have to get this specific with your face. I'm going to curve her chin a little bit to the bottom of her chin right here. Go around like that. See how I kind of shaped her face instead of being a, a perfect oval. I'm going to give her ears which go on this side and they start right here at this line and end right here on the bottom nose line. And they don't have to look like perfectly shaped ears. They just need to be the idea of ears. Step three is draw the body and the hair. So the hair on this side starts at the nape of her neck, which would be under her ear right here. And it's a wavy line that goes up to the middle of the top of her page. You can make this line however wavy you want. You can make it curly, it doesn't matter. And then the right side is another line, another wavy line that goes to the side of the page. Draw the mermaid's neck, which is a line that comes down around here, just inside that line. Okay, and I'm curving it to the right a little bit. Again, starting about right here, where, her, where this line is. And curving it again to the right. Alright, now I'm going to do the left shoulder which is like a hill that starts you know under this line and it's going to go up and I'm just going to give the idea of the shoulder and then her well her our right her left shoulder but right shoulder to us is going to connect to this line and go up a little bit and then just kind of goes down to the side. Then there's the clavicle right here, this clavicle bone, um, which we're just going to make a little V right there. Now we're going to make her swimsuit top, but we want, the, we want it to be right underneath this V shape, the middle of the M. So we're going to go doo -doo and doo -doo -doo, like that, M shape. Step four, we are going over the mermaid's eyes with our micron pen. And then color in her pupil. And then we're going to go under her nose. And then her lips. Step five, we add color to her facial features. So figure out what color you want her eyes to be. Is she? Hmm, I need a dark color because I messed up there. I'm going to go with purple eyes. I'm going to decide what color I want her eyebrows to be next. And when I do the eyebrows, I'm going to do like little individual hairs. I'm going to take the same color for the eyebrows. 
and put it on her lips. Now I can make her lips lighter in the areas on the lips to make it look more realistic. Darker in the center here, lighter right through here. And then the cheeks. I want to color her cheeks a little bit. I'm just going to lightly go over her cheeks and make it kind of a round because this is whimsical. It's not going to look realistic, so I'm just going to make a round area for her cheeks going up like that. And then I take my brush here and move in a circular motion. Now I can take my brush and I can erase all these lines I don't want. Color do we want for her makeup, Katie? Pull the color of her hair. Can we have a few colors of her hair? Yeah. Go ahead and make adjustments to your mermaid as you see you need to. So the next step we're going to decorate the mermaid. You can decorate her with crowns or starfish or what else? You can put in bubbles in the water, be creative, have fun. Mm -hmm. And you can finish up her hair if you like. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to it. Step seven is watercolor painting. So let's start with the water around the mermaid. And we just start coloring. And we don't have to color it completely in. We can just give it a light amount of color. So you know, take your hand like this. Go around because we'll add water and we'll spread this blue around. Take your big, fat, wide brush and we're going to spread that blue around. Next we're going to color her skin. We have all different skin colors so you can just pick one you like for her face. I'm going to go with a tannish color. And I'm just going to lightly go over the light areas and then I'm going to add shadow in the darker areas. Again, I give you more specific steps to follow for the shadow areas in the lesson plan. And then you can color whatever areas you want on the mermaid. Now to make it look extra whimsical, we're going to be adding some contrasting colors to the very shadowed areas. I'm going to show you where to put those. So the contrasting color would be, because of her skin tone, it would be um, like a, a blue or a green. So where it's really shadowed, which would be this side, we're going to add, and this is going to make it look really whimsical. And we're just going to go along the side of her face here, under her chin. And once you're done, you can put it in a frame. There you go. And display it proudly. Did you have fun? Yeah! It was so fun doing this. Good. Be sure to subscribe to Createful Arts. We are doing some beach theme art projects all summer long. Give it a thumbs up. Check out these other lessons and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!